Hello everybody, it's Rick. Um, I'm going to present a video showing a, a, a motion that I filed on April 29th, 2016. Uh, I've been in battle with Queen's Family Court for four years now. Um, four years ago I fired my attorney when uh, they wouldn't return emails and, you know, dragging their feet. Uh, you know, hearing after hearing after hearing, you know, what, what happens is like you go to these hearings and the support magistrate is a scam artist, knows it's a scheme, so everybody's got to get paid. <clears throat> and for like the first 15 minutes, she's on my side, and then the last 15 minutes, she's on my ex-wife's side, and then like, you know, well, let's come back in three months, we'll talk about this again, and, you know, onward it went. <laughs> anyway, what happened was I fired my attorneys, and I learned how to you know, file my own motions. Now, that is good, and it was also bad because it, it put me in a position where uh, I'm really good at this now. And they, they, it's like they don't want to, they don't want to admit that they're wrong. Like, God forbid they should vacate a, a motion. <clears throat> so I'm doing this on purpose, like to really, because I got a federal. Uh, a case in the federal court, which is really not federal court, it's a district court, but they, they, they con everybody with this federal shit. But anyway, I want to show you what I did. <clears throat> and anybody can do this, by the way. But it's not that hard. So what I do is I put the you know, family court, I always put down, it's under the United States Constitution, I put the amendments, and also you got to stay, New York, New York State Constitution is the Constitution that they must go by. They're supposed to go by the United States, but... Specifically, that's where they get their power from. So that's where you get your power from. Well, you get your power from God, but the uh, the, the Constitution does secure your rights. Now, I filed a notice of motion, and I, I filed a judicial notice, which is what you're doing is... It, it, you're not supposed to have to do that, because the judicial notice uh, is... They're supposed to act on the common law and under the Constitution. But you can you could point out specific laws that apply to your matter, so I did that, and I demand and uh, a, a judicial notice is demand to vacate for lack of jurisdiction. New York uh, Civil Practice Law Rules uh, fifty fifteen, which is the equivalent of Federal Rules sixty B, which is the 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 void a void judgment, and. Uh, you know, I, I put this in my last videos. Anyway, what I say is on April 29, 2016, I, a man, Richard Warman Jr., moves this motion to vacate. Uh, you know, I get the reasons there, judicial, before family court, supervising judge Carol Stokinger. Now, Carol Stokinger is a, a one-time uh, assistant district attorney, okay? So she knows what crimes are. You know, some of these, you got to understand some. Some of these people are political appointees. It's, it's very, I, I, this woman that I'm dealing with, this Sudi Carr, uh, I think she's a moron. I mean, they got a law degree. She, she, I don't think she knows shit about the law, even though she's a bully. I mean, she's a pretty dumb woman. I, I mean, I, she ain't, she's not that smart. So, you know, you, you can become a judge just because you're politically connected. I mean, we got a, the, the woman on the Supreme Court, Elena, uh, whatever her name is, she never was a judge. She was a lawyer. She was a, she was a clerk. For the Supreme Court, uh, a judge, a, a justice. Anyway, uh, what I'm doing, what, so she can't, she can't deny that that uh, what I'm presenting to her that these are crimes, okay? And and what I did was I I put down I I always file everything certified mail, okay? And I I I sent her a, a, a motion last August. 18 2015 and of course it goes it goes unanswered because they 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 stay silent because they all know me when i get there i mean i'm followed around you wouldn't believe so it's like get smart you know everybody's following you and um uh what they do is they 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 remain silent now you only remain silent you got something to hide you know courts are not supposed to remain silent they're supposed to help you so you know they, they that they they just don't even answer me anymore. So I I did this more just to bust chops, you know. But I actually, you know, I want to see what, what happens here because this this is like a, a unlosable motion I filed here because it, they they my ex wife's uh, income went up fifty thousand dollars. 
and I and I told you in my last videos, my child support is, is from an agreement. It's based on eighty thousand dollars. So technically, my support should have it should have went down, not up. Anyway, um, and also because I'm disabled and I got screws in my back, I get hurt at work. So my ex-wife was getting eleven fifty a month, and that money's supposed to go towards the child support. So they didn't even count any of that money. So they, they, this this should have never happened. So what they're doing is they're trying to protect this 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 criminal through the car. So uh, I filed I filed this motion in court. Uh, first, the, the, one of the reasons why is people don't know uh, support magistrates sixty six percent of their salaries are federally reimbursed. Okay. Uh, so she's automatically an impartial adjudicator because so, she has, she has what they call, uh, um, damn it, uh, well, she has, she has a financial stake in this, okay, because, uh, I haven't been able to find it, but I know that they get judged based on their, how much money they bring in. And, you know, uh, so, so she has a stake in a, 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 pl a plenary, uh, <laughs> uh, stake in this thing. And if I'm wrong, don't you know, don't laugh at me. I'm sorry. I, 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 when I do these uh, videos, I wing them. I, I don't really plan them out too much. I just start talking and uh, that's why I say you know a lot. So don't laugh at me. But I, I come from a good place. Anyway, um, so right there, she, she's an impartial adjudicator. So that's that's a lack of due process right there. That's the reason why you never see a judge because the, the, the federal monies are deposited into the state treasury and, the, and, and the, the pensions are paid from the state treasuries. So the judges, that's why I've never seen, I've never seen a judge in this matter. I have actually gotten this through the door and they wouldn't let me in, the court officers. So anyway, I say take judicial notice of the following to support the immediate vacating of their, their bullshit uh, forgery. Family court lacks jurisdiction to enforce or modify the terms of a stipulation settlement agreement. That was a, that's on the Bowdoin versus Bowdoin and Brescia versus Fitz. They're, they're, if, you, if you hear the keyword though, is they come up all the time. That's, that's the standard. Because family court lacks equity jurisdiction, they 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 cannot create court orders. They have no equity jurisdiction. It was it, it was made you know to protect children, because uh, under the age of sixteen, children cannot be prosecuted as adults. <clears throat> um, family court cannot act outside its jurisdiction under uh, New York State uh, New York uh, Constitution, Article Six, Section Thirteen. Sport orders are not entered or recorded with the clerk. I've said that a, a dozen times. Um, the due process clause under the 14th Amendment requires the impartial adjudicators. And uh, she, she and, and retroactive modification is prohibited. It's prohibited. And that's exactly what it did to me. Family court can't, does not have concurrent jurisdiction. They wrote that in my uh, divorce agreement to, to trick me. But it, it, it says at the end, you got to read every word as permitted by law. Well, it's not permitted by law because the, the Constitution said it can't. Okay. Um. Now, <clears throat> this was filed on April 29th. I asked, uh, I, I demanded a, uh, a reply within eight days. Well, here we are. It's the 15th of May. It's a Sunday, but I guarantee you uh, it, nothing's going to happen. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to go there and see what's going on. I think they're just going to ignore me like they always do. Um, and that's what happens when you're right sometimes, you know, they, they, you got to go through some shit. I mean, I'm going through some serious shit with this. I mean, financially, you know, my wife and I are struggling, but, uh, you know, we're going to be okay one day, you know, we're almost there. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I enjoy helping people. I hope this helps people, you know, I hope, I'm hoping that, you know, one day I can help people online, you know, like to take the money out of their pockets. I want to set up like a... A divorce consultation business where I just consult people and say, "Listen, I could save you thousands of dollars because everything that's in in, in these stipulation agreements, you there, there's no law that says you have to provide child support. It's not in the Constitution. You, you're supposed to do it because you're supposed to be a good person, but they make you think you have to, and 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 then they get and then they make money on it on top of it by by adding little words like at this time." Or, or permitted by law because they're lawyers, they're wordsmiths, or word geeks, as one uh, somebody I heard on the, on the internet say. So what I can do is I can tell you, listen, this is what you want to put in this thing, and they can't make you do anything. You know, you're entitled to a jury trial. So so like divorce is a big scam. It's a business. It's a billion dollar industry, and they destroy people's lives not doing it. I mean, you got to be a pretty rotten person to do that. 
for a living. So, you know, you, you're dealing with really scummy people. So, I, you know, I know I can help people. Um, so, I'm going to let you guys uh, go. And uh, I'll let you guys know what's going to go on with this case. If anybody would ever want a copy, uh, you know, anyone want help how to do this, you can shoot me a message because I'm pretty good at this. Anyway, have a good night.